For many years I was confused about electricity and magnetism. I thought they were two separate forces, but it turns out they were unified by Einstein over a hundred years ago. And probably Louis Amper probably tried to explain it, uh, but I don't know if a lot of people understood him. He came up with this Amper's Force Law, which is a relationship showing how wires with current flowing in them in opposite directions will repel and current flowing in the same direction will attract. And uh, that's uh, Amper's Force Law. And it's described by this equation here, which is the force in newtons per meter of wire, parallel wires, is equal to two times the magnetic force constant, which uh, is probably just some made-up figure to make this all work. And then you have uh, the current in one wire times the current in the other wire, in amperes, divided by R, which is the um, distance between the two wires. And that gives you your force. So you can see how if one of these currents up here, I1 or I2, um, was reversed, or negative, then that would make the force negative as well, so it would repel. That's what's happening here. Now, the way this behaves, it's almost as if the current is warping space. And uh, that might not be what's actually happening, but it, uh, it helps to visualize this, to imagine a uh, space warping around the current carrying wires. So you can see how current flowing through this diagonal field would be attracted to the other wire and vice versa. And then when these when the current changes in the wire, the changes in this field propagate at the speed of light. But then when the uh, current is constant, then it, then the uh, the field gradient is also a constant. Now you see if we remove the current from one of the wires and just shut it off, that uh, makes both sides of the equation zero. So there's zero force. Even though there's current flowing in this wire, this wire doesn't really sense any forces on it. And over here we have force being applied to the wire. And if we push one wire towards the other one, magically this current appears in the wire that we're pushing. And we can predict which direction it goes by visualizing the force around the other wire, or the uh, the warp field, we might call it. It's just a handy way to visualize a magnetic field. You don't really need to remember the right-hand rule or the um, direction of the uh, magnetic field or any of that because you can just imagine current flowing in the direction of the arrow. Now this diagonal field is actually a cone shape. So if we wind this wire around into a coil and visualize it in 3D, we can see we've got uh, cones on the wire and uh, they line up with the letters of the alphabet, N and S, for north and south. And as you can see, the way the warp cones line up, there are facing the same direction, but depending on how you look at it, you get either a north or a south pointing electromagnet. Let's make a crude electromagnet by wrapping some wire around a chunk of iron, and I'll show you what I mean. What we have here is one of those old <clears throat> tube type computer monitors, and uh, what we're going to do is take, take our magnet and uh, we're going to see what happens to the screen when we hook it, hook a magnet up and and place the poles facing the screen. Okay, check that out. When we hook up power to it, notice how the screen twists to the right. It twists clockwise when power is applied. See that? Now let's turn the magnet around. See, now it twists the other direction.
Now, don't worry, the monitor is not ruined. We just push a button and we can degauss it. 